Okay, so in this next session, so we'll write um, um, part of the script that will allow us to to be able to control the character, okay, the, the player character. So this is where we left off, and um, this is where we shall continue. So first things first, there is um, some code that's automatically put inside the file. Okay, so for now, we're interested in the start and we're interested in the update. Now, the start um, is a function that runs code when the when the when the component loads, when the component starts up, like when it loads through the game, while the update runs per frame. So if your game runs at 60 frames per second, then it means whatever code you put in here is going to be running uh, 60 times per second. Um, so this is a good place to put um, the kind of logic that's continuous, like movement and things like that. Uh, while this is a good place to put code that has to do with um, um, loading things up or setting things um, up when starting. Okay, so everything that we'll write will be inside the component or this player controller, um, which which is um, an extension or a, a subclass of the class component. Okay, you don't need to worry about those specific details in terms of what that means. Um, but my advice would be to do some um, TypeScript tutorials, uh, particularly object-oriented um, TypeScript, so, so that you are a little bit more familiar with object-oriented programming. But I will not focus on that. Here I'll just go straight into um, what's needed. Okay, so all of our code will have to sit in between these angle brackets where this one's starting and where this one's closing. So that's how we'll put our code. So the first thing that we'll do is um, we want to know whether the player is currently jumping or not. Okay, so we can say private. I mean, let me first of all put up a, a comment. So a comment is just a note to, to let us know later on what code is coming up or what we've written. So in this case, we'll just say check if player is jumping. So something like this. And then we can then create the variable that checks this. So say private start jump. Then we'll put a boolean equals false all right so this would be the default state so private means that this variable only works within this player controller class um, can only be accessed from functions that it, that belong to this class and then of course this is the name of the variable okay so meaning this part you can name it to whatever you want but just make sure that it makes sense so in this case, it's called start jump, um, and then we have um, the type of variable. In this case, boolean. Notice that that's a full colon that's in between. So full colon, then the variable type boolean, and then in this case we have false, meaning the player is not jumping currently. Okay, so they should not. They're not jumping. Okay, then we can get the jump step so the way the game works is that by right clicking or left clicking we're able to tell the character to jump once or jump twice but for any kind of jump to occur the player should not be um, should not be jumping right so first of all create a variable that um, sets up the number of jumps. Are they jumping two steps or are they jumping one step? So say private. In fact, I will use lowercase. Jump step. This is going to be a number. Okay. Then this will be zero. Remember, 
this jump state will either be one or two okay so are we jumping one step or are we jumping two steps so two means it's it's a it's a bigger jump one means it's a smaller jump right so so are we jumping uh one or two okay two steps then next thing we need to to listen for the input now the way the game works is that um the input is coming from the mouse so when you when you click it should it should be able to detect that you've clicked and then make the player jump so in the start let me just put a comment and say listen for click event okay so we can then say input on this is about um, listening in to some input is the user clicking something so in this case we can say input dot event type input dot event type dot mouse up it's case sensitive so you have to write it exactly the way the way you see it and then so in this case input dot event type okay that's 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 the the built-in cocos um can call it like a, a listener um for some input then there's different types of inputs with a mouse up meaning you've let go of the of the mouse uh button you can have keyboard uh inputs you can have uh, touch screen inputs and so on you can look some of those up but in this case we're listening for the mouse up then what should happen when when that has been detected so in this case we can then create a function so we'll say this dot and then we can call the function anything we want uh, in this case we say on mouse up so on mouse up is expected to be a function a function that should exist um, within this um, within this uh, program okay so go on okay and create on mouse up on mouse up okay and then inside it it receives event event mouse okay so input on mouse up event mouse okay 